Hey folks, Cool18 here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play U4, the Mara Nostrum expansion. We're playing as Ubik, and we're trying to make the Hansa great again. And let me tell you, it's really hard for me to not just go on a big, like, conquest rampage here. I mean, we are still sort of limited by aggressive expansion and whatever, um, but <laughs> I just want to take over more of the world. I don't like to do, you know, full world conquest, but it's hard not to, like, look at a neighbor and be like, I will kill you now, and then you're like, oh, right, 20 province limit, we gotta keep that in mind. For example, like, Hamburg over here. I think, you know, pre-trade leagues, <clears throat> and that's it, it's not even the uh, the 20 member limit of the Merchant Republic that's keeping Hamburg alive here. It's the, the trade league. Pre-trade league, we would have jumped on them in an instant for all the super-powered trade. But as long as these guys are in my trade league, I'm going to get 50% um, of their trade power. So... It really, like, and since that's the big thing for gaining Hamburg, I mean, yeah, it's a high development province and all sorts of stuff, although, you know, that factors into coring and aggressive expansion and all those things, right? One of the big reasons you want to take Hamburg is because of the trade power. And if I'm getting half their trade power, I guess we're we're pretty much okay. Um, there probably would be, in, yeah, the Holstein state, which means it would uh, unavoidably cost um, me an extra province slot. If they were, weren't in a state, we could take them and leave them as a territory. We'd still get about half their trade power that way. Actually, we get, what, 37... Uh, well, the inverse. We'd only be losing 37.5 of their trade power as opposed to effectively 50% of what we're getting now. Um, so we get a little bit more trade power, but we get most of it as is. So I'm probably going to leave them there. And really, I'm more or less going to continue to just chill... Okay, that's no new rivals for us, right? Yeah, France. God damn it. Um, most, more or less continue to chill. In fact, if we're going to take any other territory and leave it as a territory, it will likely be territory over here. Both because it would be handy to grab a little bit more power in the North Sea trade node, <clears throat> and Lothian's pretty good for that, right? Because as, as more trade comes from the Americas, we're going to want to make sure it's getting diverted more and more strongly towards Lubeck. And then ultimately, doing the English Channel stuff is pretty cool. But I'm going to see if we can't work towards um, overseas expansion. When can I change this again? All right, seven more years. It's not too bad. We're still fairly ahead on administrative technology. And, like, administrative power is usually the one that you're hurting for the most. And we're, right now, we're not in that situation. How old's our king? Right, I don't... I don't know when the le next election will be, but I suspect we won't re-elect him. We're quite low in Republican tradition, and there's a good chance that he might not get through his next term. And it might not be a bad idea to sort of, like, sit on a, on a couple or even three election cycles here at low value, because we're so far ahead on time, so it's perfectly fine for us to take this opportunity to increase our Republican tradition. <clears throat> what I'll probably do is just taking someone who's uh, diplomatically focused, so that we can catch up on diplomatic tech, and in particular... Since I do want to take uh, exploration ideas next. Now, we still have to get administrative tech to level 14. <clears throat> and since we're so far ahead, like, it's a pretty good sign that, let's see. So we've got eight years ahead here. So then we'll take that, and then we'll be another, I don't know. So we're probably about 20 years away-ish, give or take, depending on how we want to work things, um, from admin tech level 14. On that, that being said, it's like sort of kind of in line with some of our aggressive expansion decay. Now, what's nice about having some territory over here is that it gives us somewhere else to conquer, right? If we take the rest of Scotland, I mean, obviously, we have a long truce with them at this time. 57, so only eight more years. Um, if we take more territory over here, the people here won't be bothered. So the fact that now we have... We're, we're present in two different geographies in the world is actually going to be really good for our expansion. In particular, since um, we are probably going to keep everything as a territory. Although, I did, I did state the highlands here. Um, and I can't... I guess it had a decent amount of development. Yeah, I don't know. <clears throat> Why did I state the Highlands? No, it is a territory. Okay, I'm, I'm reading it wrong. I'm like, there was, there's no good reason for me to do that. Yeah, so this is the button to make it a state. I saw the thing in yellow, and I was like, push this button to make it this thing highlighted in yellow. I didn't actually read. I just saw, button makes this a territory. No, no, it's already territory. We pushed the button to make it a state, which I don't want to do. Or tuckle. Oh, it's over here. Um, oh, high fervor. Yeah, let's get the trade here. Although we do have the rebel uprisings building up right, which I, is the reason I've moved my troops over here, which is fine and dandy. All right, let's go up to speed three, <clears throat> and we should be okay. We're, of course, still above our naval force limit, but that's not that expensive as it turns out. So that's okay. This is a dumb template over there. I, I still don't know. There's some weird glitchy stuff with templates. 
when I create one, it makes two, and then very weird. So who's this? So it is a big Irish war. All right. And I think, yeah, England's involved in this and everything, too. <clears throat> As is Scotland, actually. Um, Sweden's building a big spy network against us. Oh, yeah, my diplomats are currently available. I'm wondering, I'll, I'll counter spy against Sweden. I don't know. Not sure that it makes a difference. Looks like catching spies isn't necessarily that painful or, or helpful. Um, oh, wait. That's that's all Lithuania? Oh, they've got another province over here. Lithuania's been reduced down to two provinces. Crazy. These guys have been very friendly. We could ally them, but we are above our relationship limit as is. What's nice, I think, since they're so new, they don't actually have any real aggressive expansion over here, which is nice. Also, how come... <clears throat> Only minus five tolerated heretics? Maybe because they're orthodox? I don't take it quite as personally. Hmm. Well, I'm going to send them uh, a diplomat to go and improve relations with them as, you know, sort of a keep them in our back pocket. We'll see how it goes. What kind of rebels are these? Oh, pretender rebels. Yeah, that's okay. England. No, we're good for now. We don't have much in the way of manpower. I mean, our maximum has gone up a fair bit. But we could let it accumulate. Mostly we have a bunch of money for war. Um, do I want to spend any of it? We can build a textile manufacturer somewhere over here, but that's not going to give us much, especially being a territory. They have too much autonomy, so that's no good. I don't want to build any more forts. I don't want to lose any power. The money doesn't really matter too much. It's not much power, but the Novgorod trade node is not that important. I should probably just build whatever, and then we can always get rid of them later, but yeah, but did they pay for themselves? <clears throat> oh, that's a pretty good place for a temple. Actually, let's do that. And you're at zero autonomy now. Excellent. Yeah, that, that's lovely. Alright, well, let's go up to speed four then. I don't want to be defender of the faith right now. We don't need that. We can grab the plutocratic ideas. Oh, I guess... <clears throat> yeah, I'm ahead on military, so I guess I'm going to grab this. 25% more caravan power. Actually, we'll do great things for our trade. Ah, I don't know if the month has already ticked over. I was going to do a comparison before and after. So 45 gold. I have. It may have. Um, may have already taken the changes. Oh, conversions. All right. Naval equipment manufacturer. Yeah, we'll take this. We're not saving our diplo power for anything else. Just going to wait until December first and compare a trade. An extra gold and a half, which may have been from our caravan power. Okay, and. I know that there's some good places for this naval equipment that will actually, yeah, all of these, that, that's a pretty big number. I mean, it's pretty expensive, so it does take a while to pay for itself, but um, it also increases trade, right? So this is extra production, which means, and I've said this before, it's extra money that gets applied directly to your economy over here. You're not making that much more economy directly, but it adds trade value in the Lubeck trade node where we have a lot of control. So we're going to get double bang for our buck over there. Venice declares war on Siena. Siena used to be in their um, their trade league. Look at Venice growing. Man, oh man, are, tr are merchant republics ever more stable now with these trade league defenses maneuvers? I mean, Venetian Balkans, big Venice over here. I mean, maybe it's just a weird fluky thing, but I don't know. Genoa is doing well for itself. It's still got some territory over here. It's got, oh, it looks like it's, has it lost all of it? Let's go some inland territory over there. Where I'm sure it's not interested in. All right, Genoa may be doing a little bit less well. On the other hand, we've also seen Genoa, uh, their trade league has collapsed a few times. They haven't been able to get enough members in there. So that makes sense. Uh, two years, Tyrone. Interesting. All right, so I'm not going to re-elect Oscar over here. Uh, because I don't have that much Republican tradition, and I'm really worried that he's just going to die before he fully serves out his term. I think we could squeeze one more out. But since we're so low, and since we're generally ahead of tech... I am not going to risk not getting a full term out of him, especially when I don't critically need the points right now. So I'm going to take a Diplomat candidate, because we're still behind on um, Diplotech. We're ahead on all the others, so it doesn't really make sense to rush it. We may end up grabbing an admin administrator at some point, just because we still care about going up in admin technology, but yeah, we're good. So depending on what goes on over here, we might declare war on more bits of Ireland and different things. It does give us more control in the, um, the North Sea trade node. Now, these... Provinces are not particularly critical for trade, unfortunately. And again, they'll have, because they're going to be territories, they're going to have 75% autonomy. Uh, but that's only 37% decline in trade power. <clears throat> Plus, it'll give me something to do. And that's always nice. Can I add any policies? Trade Efficiency Act, plus 
That's interesting. <clears throat> That's very interesting. How much income you can get? So 47. I guess we probably should pass it. I mean, it's going to cost me Diplo, which is the one I'm not ahead of. And this is the one that gives me a free ship, right? Well, it's not free. <clears throat> Actually costs a lot of money. It used to be cheap. It must be a, a based on your current income. Because that would be a really expensive Carrick. Yeah, it gives you some bonuses, but ugh. Alright, let's go and do that. So it'll cost me one Diplo power, but that's alright. So, 47.62... All right, an extra five gold a month is pretty good. And um, while that also affects, I think, maybe some of our money conversion here, are we owning, we're earning 52 gold. The total trade value in this node is 33. We're getting 52 out of it. That's amazing. I mean, we'd have a really big piece of the pie, 78%. Wow, division of the council, random lose power, that sucks. Yeah, I was going to say, so not only do we make more money, uh, it also removes more money from other people just by giving us more... I mean, the trade efficiency, is it only... How much income you can get out of your merchants? Does it not affect... Does it affect any sort of trading or anything whatsoever? I don't see the word trade efficiency in any of these, so maybe it only really does affect collection of trade. Alright, well, fair enough. <clears throat> Neither Reform nor Catholic. Um, oh, this is for Sweden. <clears throat> right, because they're Protestant. Um, I don't care if they upset me. I just don't know. I think if I pick this option and then they take... They'll get a choice of something, and they can still decline over there, and then I'll lose prestige or some damn thing like that, I'm pretty sure. Screw Sweden, I don't care what they think about me. This is all Lubeck up over here. I know, we don't really need any more power in the Lubeck trade node. And actually, I probably should just turn my attention elsewhere. I mean, there will be more competition in this node as the game goes on, because people will build more markets, people will send more ships over here. But I kind of like our expansion into the Baltic Sea node. And I think that is going to continue, which has been part of our plan. Uh, right, you're counter-espionaging. I mean, I guess we, were already, we already caught them once, they might not be spying on us again. Um, let me go and espionage over here in the Teutonic Order, make sure we've got all our claims. Still not in a uh, rush to declare any wars. Build spy network because we still have lots of aggressive expansion we don't have that much manpower although over here oh i think that war ended so england's taken more territory interesting happy populace has expired oh we have to wait for these um oh these rebels aren't popping up at all really unrest has gone down to zero i mean that's with the troops but the troops are already there in fact even leaving with the troops it won't go up that much uh, I guess I'll leave them there for a little bit longer as the rebellion oh, has dropped all the way down to zero. Interesting. Can I declare war against England? Well, I think I've got at least a trade dispute with them. And I could fabricate some stuff. I can fabricate some stuff on Denmark as well. Or sorry, Norway as well. All right, we were looking at that. I may be there. I mean, I'm at my military force limit. I don't have that much manpower, but the money is coming in like crazy. So you can always just throw money at the problem. Man, and this width is full maintenance and everything. Crazy. We have a little bit of corruption. I say it should go down because it's being ahead in admin. I can recall that diplomat. Yeah, let me just go in and check some stuff here. So first of all, I mean, we still have a truce with Scotland. Yes? Yeah, right over there. But we don't have anything with England. Right now, what we can do? Just the trade war, um, which wouldn't result in us taking land. And we probably do want to take land. And with Tyrone? And we still have a truce, right. Okay, let's send a spy over to England, fabricate some stuff, get some options. I'm going to wait on the admin a little bit. Probably we'll still be paying the ahead of time, but I'm going to wait until, you know, at least another year or two if we can go there. Um, I could improve some more territory, but I don't think we're going to do that. I could improve my stability, but I don't think we're going to do that. I think we'll just accept the ahead of time penalty, should it come up. And that's going to be totally fine. 
Uh, in preparation for potential stuff with England, I'm going to start repairing my little fleet here. Oh, wait, they're mostly galleys. Um, okay, split off the heavies. And you're not going to be mothballed, but the galleys can still be mothballed. Oh, I can take that opportunity to upgrade them as well, because why not? That's going to be fine. And I guess we'll upgrade the cogs as well. Might as well just give them a little extra muscle. That's going to be fine. Teutonic order, fabricate a claim. Um, oh, you're, you're being... Is that, that's probably just rebels causing problems. But yeah, we'll reset our claims on the coast over here. Yeah, this is just something to keep us entertained while we wait to explore the new world. Now, one of the things I'm really curious about in New World is... So territories are replacing all the overseas mechanic, right? Distant overseas has just been completely replaced by territories. If I go and colonize territory in North America, and... Oh, and we can see, um, we can see Greenland over here, and no one's colonized there yet. Excellent, that's great news. I wonder if we can get away without exploration ideas. We'll see. Um... What was I saying? Yes. So, if territories are replacing the overseas mechanic, if I go and make a colony in the Americas, and then make it into a state, assuming that I can, I haven't seen anything in the wiki or the patch notes that imply that I can't, could be there, but if I make it into a state, then will that prevent a colonial government from forming? I don't necessarily need to do that, and certainly, obviously, if that counts, that will count against my, um, my province limit, and I'm very limited over here in provinces, so I probably don't want to do it. Also, the, the cost to maintain a state is based on distance from the capital, so that would be very expensive. So it's probably not viable, but would it stop colonial governments from forming? Also, I believe they changed the rules so that you can move your capital to any province in a state. So with that, could I also, if I made a state in North America, could I move my capital over there? That might have been a good reason to keep... Um, uh, the Lubeckian territory over here incredibly tiny, right? Because if I move my capital over there, and then these states are very expensive, I could either turn them into territories or whatever, and then I just become a North American power. It's kind of interesting to consider. We're going to go and finish our plutocratic ideas, because we're still ahead on military. More manpower recovery speed is quite nice, and we drop our interest per annum a little bit. Not that... I mean, we're one of the richest nations on Earth. In fact, we may currently, since we've just made some changes to our trade and stuff, we may literally be the nation with the highest income. And we are. Ooh, Spain's really taken off here, which I guess shouldn't be a surprise. They've expanded considerably, and um, they are starting to get overseas stuff, so there's going to be more and more trade coming from the New World, so their money's going to skyrocket. But we're literally the richest country in the world. Why would we ever need to take out more loans? Well, I'll probably overspend somewhere, so that's actually entirely reasonable. I think this January, I'll go ahead and buy the next um, admin tech level, because I think we'll cap at some point in that year. And if we're going to hit the cap, we may as well just go and spend it. Uh, I'm going to go for a level 1 admin advisor. No reason to get anything else right now. Do I have inflation? A little bit, yeah. So the reduction would be quite nice. That's going to be okay. Uh, we're losing... The oh, right. The National Focus plus the Importation Act, which I've put in. Diplomat from Scotland. Fine, fine, fine. England. We're going to fabricate some claims. Oh, you took Lothian. Yeah, see, that, that cannot be. Lothian is specifically the province I'm interested in taking. Wow. Crazy stuff going on over there. All Protestant zealots. Were you Catholic? Probably. Yep. But potentially not for long. Mm -hmm. I was, I'm just about to be panicked that I was going to cap at my money. I saw 996. I was like, wait, money has no cap. Okay, you're there. Maybe what I'll do is I'll actually move my heavy over with my transports, because most likely I will want the, the heavy to escort my troops. And with no rebellion risk, I think... I think we will move back over into our Scottish holdings. Because I think if there's going to be another battle, it will indeed be over there, because right now we have no aggressive expansion over there. So it'll be... I don't know, maybe we can get access rights through Scotland or some damn thing. We'll see. Wait. Did Venice start this war? Venetian conquest of Sutro. Venice declared war on Austria. My, 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 how the mighty have fallen. France is occupying a bunch of stuff over there. Huge Bavaria. And that is a big Venice. Wow. I wonder if the AI um, merchant republics will go above 20 provinces or not. And if they do, do they change their government type? Because that's the thing we could do. I could just become an administrative republic or something. Not worry about that cap. And keep checking that technology screen. That's our incentive for January 1st, grabbing that tech is the fact that otherwise I'm going to keep checking it obsessively. So I'm just going to fabricate claims on, like, 
all the land over there, because why not? And same thing with England over here, fabricate claims. I'm going to make a claim on Ulster, actually. But yeah, I'll probably just keep fabricating everywhere. So all the Danish CBs have gone away. That's okay. I mean, we might still want this piece of land at some point. But we actually really don't have to prioritize it. No, no, no. All right, January the 1st. And yeah, we're definitely going to hit the cap. So we'll play, pay the 25% premium. There we go. Hopefully that doesn't count as like a really weird tech mismatch. No, we're fine. So that's okay. And when does this change? Two more years from now. And I will put, I will definitely be putting the focus on Diplo Power, Diplo Tech, which probably means we'll end up going ahead of time on Diplo Tech at some point. But there's actually a, at least one good sink for Diplo Power over here. Is we can do culture conversions. We'll probably have to do that for the Highlanders. There can only be one primary culture. So England is fighting France, French conquest of Picardy. All right, so England's nice and weak right now. So, the question is, we can't declare war on Scotland, and of course all our diplomats are busy. Let's fabricate one more claim over here, um, right there, and then bring you home. Bring my fleet together. So what we'll probably have to do is we probably won't be able to get access right through Scotland, right? Um, yeah, they're, they're right, the rivalry. Have I... Am I rival to England? No. Can I eliminate one of my rivals? Mm, not easily. Because it would be really nice if before I went to war with England, they were my rival. That's how I could get more power projection. There's something to be said about declaring war against them now, because they are very, very vulnerable. Do we have an active coalition? No. Is it the Tonic Order, Sweden, and who? And Poland. That's right. It doesn't really matter who I attack. There's going to be... We're going to hit coalition levels of aggressive expansion over here. So I could attack someone just to humiliate them. But I don't even know if grabbing land... No, grabbing land from England makes a lot of sense. Taking Lothian is going to be quite good. So we will probably plan on doing that right now. Let's uh, make my ruler into a leader. Yeah, they're kind of crap. So we're going to do that. I mean, your troops are here right now. Oh, you're still retreating. What I could do is drop my troops off in Northumberland. I mean, there'll be a small stack at first, but these guys have to recover morale. Marshes have a defense bonus. Yeah, let's do it. I specifically want Lothian. And I don't think I have to call in Saxony and uh, Clinton Ricarda over here doesn't particularly concern me. I could even consider just like separate piece vassalize them or or just conquer them. Why not? All right. I'm not going to co-belligerize them or anything, but there we go. All right. You get on the boat. How odd. Oh, right, they were in a trade, uh, my trade league. Yeah, that's okay. Get the rest of the boats out there. I'm betting uh, England doesn't have much of a navy if France is landing on their territory here. Uh, these are my lights. Move out over here. I, I tell my other light ships to come out this way, right? Yeah, there they are. You can just move straight down there. This is farmland. We actually are going to be quite comfortable attacking them in there if they still, they're still they still there by the time we transfer all the troops. I'm not sure that they will, but if they are, we will be very comfortable in attacking them. Detach a siege, go down there. Detach a siege, go down there. Yeah, I don't think they've got much of a navy. I suppose we could blockade the Irish Sea. France, okay, is embargoing us. That's very rude. We could call in Saxony, but I don't feel the need to do that. We're just in war over here. And England's basically just beat. All in all. Oh, there's France buzzing around. Alright. You guys keep transferring that way. It's a little slower than if I just dock the ships, but that's okay. You guys. 
I detach more siegers? Uh, that won't be enough for siege. That, or blockade there. So we'll just keep them stacked up so that we have a little bit more force just in case something turns out to be aggressive over there. So I'm hoping that the English just move out of Lothian and we just go and take it. We could attack them there. They have a pretty decent leader. It looks like the 4-2 is the strongest out of the bunch. Oh, and they've got some reinforcements coming. What's their military tech? 11. So we're on 12, which is quite nice. I'm not hiring any mercs yet. We may. I'm going to see if I can attack some of these smaller stacks. That will potentially mean attacking them in the woods, though. Oh, but if they split up like that, that's quite nice. I'm just going to wait for you to lock in on Yorkshire. I can't move into Yorkshire, really, because of this fort? Mmm, it looks like. Alright, but they're moving out of here, so that's good. And they still have other wars to go on, so we're just going to go and start sieging Lothian. Fife is only grassland. I didn't realize it, so they got access through Scotland here. So we could have walked through Scotland in the end. But that's okay. Alright. Um, yeah, I think we're just going to... Oh, no, no, no. Don't attack them. Nope. Let's wait until they've locked and they're moving away. There we go. Don't actually want to attack them in there. I mean, it's it's farmland, which is good, but they've got a decent number of people, and they might have some more reinforcements in the, the fog of war. So we'll just do that. That's interesting. I assume if I do that, yeah, I can't even go there directly. All right, so we'll just siege this up. This is okay. Does this leader have a siege pip? He does, and we've got enough cannons to get plus three, and we've got the blockade, which is very nice. And this will be the war goal. Uh, bribes growing more accepted. Oh, just randomly gain some corruption for no good reason. Boo! Boo, that no good. Do I want to go up to, like, level three, dude? I don't think so. Uh, oh, we can grab a better relations over time, dude, which is what I'm going to do. The faster we burn off aggressive expansion, the better. I mean, don't get me wrong, trade efficiency is pretty good for money, but we're still doing okay for money. I can't complain. These guys were just going to keep parked there. That's perfectly fine. We do not need them for this. I mean, I guess they could help blockade, but who cares? Mm -hmm. So I'm hoping that France goes and smashes this army one more time. You know, something like that. Just going to recapture this. Doesn't really matter. You don't get much war score from non-fort provinces, but most more, somewhat just there to stop France from taking the extra territory. I mean, I don't think they're going to claim much. They'll probably just grab the stuff on the mainland. They may or may not, I don't know, force a releasing of Wales. That would be quite funny. France might decide to grab some territory here, which would be awkward, but we are rivaled, so it actually might give me a really good way to attack France um, safely because I should be able to keep them pinned out. I don't know how big of a navy they have. Maybe they have a dangerous navy. Not really feeling it, though. There we go. Excellent. And we don't need the blockade there anymore. We still can't move out. Thicker than water. Lose power. We're not going to lose tradition. We'll lose the power. Especially since we're still ahead of time on military. I mean, we're not quite as far ahead of time. In fact, yeah, we'll be not ahead of time by the time we add up enough points over here and potentially even be behind. But I don't want to lose Republican tradition. Especially not at that ratio. Siege Lothian going well. Again, that's the war score. And England is pretty much completely defeated. But yeah, we might decide to go for their Irish holdings. Depends on, are we prioritizing North Sea or not? I don't know. I guess, in the interest of a bit more of a contiguous thing, especially since I want Lothian, and I probably will go back and take the Scottish bits, I think I'm going to stay on Great Britain itself, as opposed to Ireland. So we'll see. Siege of Lothian is done. Move down, move down. I guess I should move to this fort. It It is being sieged already, though, so... And you're sieging that. This will just move up a bit. Well, I guess it's all being sieged. I guess the thing to do... Hostile fort? What fort? Oh, I can't go into Scotland. Okay, so all that, that axis is been revoked. Okay, no worries. I'm not even going to go and attack these guys. It would be a pretty easy victory, but I don't need the uh, the war score that much. This is kind of a dumb comp here, but our cavalry 
is not actually going to be a problem, despite the fact that we have a dumb too much cavalry in that army. That's okay. We're just being attrition here because France is around, so we're going to let them be. Truce with Denmark is ended. So yeah, so that's quite interesting. Let me spread out like this, because we can get maybe a little bit more um, looting going on. Excellent. May as well get a bit more free money. So a bunch of the truces are expiring. We've got some options. Of course, there's still... There's not a coalition right now, and they're not going to form a coalition. Um, but we don't have to necessarily rush it. I'm going to wait before I start re-electing, because I still don't have that much Republican tradition. We're going to grab another diplomat advisor, because, again, that's still the one we're behind. It might be worth going for one more um, military guy, though, because we actually won't be overkilling the points, and that wouldn't be too bad. But part of the incentive to getting a little bit ahead on Diplo is because we know the next admin technology will be taking probably exploration ideas. We'll check. It's possible that once uh, we, we take some counts on our ranges, we might be perfectly fine with just expansion ideas. Which is actually sort of generally preferable, because that's the one that gives us the merchant. If we can get away without going exploration ideas, awesome. But it'll depend a lot on how much vision we've got over there, because we might legitimately need the exploration, and we might need the plus 50% trade range. It's been a while since I did the, uh, the math. Can we reach? See, we can reach Greenland already, as is. So, we don't need the extra tra trade range from exploration. So I may not be worried about it. The expansion one is also the idea that gives you all the CBs against, um, like, the Asian nations over here. Exploration gives you CBs against the uh, American nations. But we may not care about that, whereas actually grabbing the ones in the Orient may be super valuable. Uh, I guess we'll go around and change our blockades a bit, since we don't need as many dudes over here anymore. Suppose, well, no. These guys hate me. They're not going to let me go through. Ah, eh, they would, actually. Oh. And it looks like someone's got it. Uh, the channel. Where are we fighting? Oh, right over there. Yeah, I think that's probably fine. We should be able to take that and sink the British Navy. I think France is actually going for these, blo these um, sieges right now. Well, we'll siege out Ulster. Yeah, since they're sieging that fort. And we'll be in a position to siege it after. Oh, they didn't actually take... Are you still sieging over here? Yeah, yeah, you're still sieging over there. Okay. Um, ba -bum -ba -bum -bum. Yeah, that's 100% blockade in both these places. I could probably just send my light ships to protect trade again. That's probably what I'll do. Have I lost some of these? Oh, no, no, no. They're, they're blockading over here. Right. You split in half. You are going to protect trade in Lubeck. And you are going to protect trade in the Baltic. Go nuts. Now, once France gets out of their war, we might need some ships to help blockade a bit more just for sieging speed. But for now, we're okay. Yay, manufacturing's done. Ulster came under control. So we could probably ask for Lothian as is. We probably want to just get more territory, though. Especially, you know, with the admin situation the way that it is, and we're still, like, 150% um, ahead. I don't mind spending Diplo power, or admin power coring. Especially, these are only going to be territory cores, so, you know, half the cost. Um, we need the Diplo power to piece up, but we can go negative there, so that'll be okay. More naval morale, sure. And, hey, we're slightly ahead of time. Just barely. But it is going to help us burn away our corruption, um, at least for a full year over here. So that's nice. Galicia, blockading. Well, I don't think they have any ports, so that would be a little hard. And we're just going to sink that one random ship over here. Boop. Excellent. And yeah, I'm going to keep these light ships around for now. Okay! That is the French piece. So, Meath over here is now independent. I am going to improve relations with them. Maybe they'll join the Trade League. Um, I can't fabricate claims at war, so I can stop that. I mean, we can get the, the sieging bonuses, but that's okay. And we're going to leave these guys alone for a little while, since I can't currently reach them, although I can probably get access rights. Actually, I'm sure I can. I'll have to wait 30 days over here. Well, we don't need a full stack. Split in half, send you to march. And you over here, I think, yeah, this leader also has a siege bonus. Oh, we already have the one. Oh, right, because our king got replaced. Roll you? Meh. Oh, well, go anyway. 
And we just have to wait until we can send them another diplomat. It's a little cranky right now because of the opposed religion, but that's okay. And there we go. Ask military access. And yeah, we could probably get them to like us enough to join the trade league. Oh, only 99% siege right there. That's annoying. All right, siege that out. Siege out over there. I probably have, yeah, a dumb composition with uh, cannons. So let me grab two cannons and just have them join up over here because I suspect we have another dumb composition with our number of cannons over there. Oh, that still won't help that much, but it'll do. Oh, there we go. You will piece out. And I think I'm fine with just white piecing out these guys. You won't do war provisions. Really? I mean, you could hold you long enough to vassalize, but we'd be going above our relationship limit for someone who doesn't really matter that much. Yeah, I'm just going to piece him out for a couple of bucks. That's fine. And then you go there so you can become unexiled. Are you in another war? Oh, you are. Flemisher here. Uh, you can send your can your extra cannon down there. Let's send your main stack. Uh, yeah, go and do that, I suppose. Transport's being a little bit silly. Oh, we gotta put a cut in this. Well, this war's going to go fine. We're going to take some territory for the sake of taking territory. It's going to help our trade empire. Uh, and then we're going to continue on with our primary goal of getting our Diplotech up there. Can we get a level 3 military guy? I think I'm going to do that. There you go. Just spend the money on the level 3 guy for more points because we can actually use that for now. But. But. Maybe I'll leave the focus here for now. Because it's actually going to be okay. We still are going to move the focus at some point. We'll probably end up with like triple level 3 dudes really t relatively soon, actually. I don't think it's worth it with the admin, because I think we're still going to be overpaying. And the Diplo we're actually doing okay with right now. But we will probably go with level 3 at some point. But right now I'm happy with the better relations over time. Okay, well there you go. Just a little, you know, just a quiet little war where we go and conquer all of England. You know, not, not anything to get worried about. Went great. Um, oh yeah, there's the independent whales as well. I was all like paying attention over here. And it was like, oh yeah, the Welsh have been isolated as well. Which is good for me for multiple reasons. Can I, uh, can I spy on you? And fabricate claims? Um... I think I might because we share the Irish Sea. So I think I could fabricate some claims on whales and then probably just eat them. We'll see how it goes. But for now, that's it. Thank you very much for watching, folks, and I'll see you next time.